Hello and welcome back to Gub Fuller Field, Austin Rooney alongside David Sugarman following the 10-7 loss to the Falmouth Commodores. So David, what do you think were some of the real positives to take out of tonight's game? Well, we have to talk about the offense. I mean, this was the most runs the Mariners have had so far this season with seven. Five of those coming in the first. They got through the entire order. A combination of batters walked and batters hitting and getting on base. So it's an excellent job there. And that rally in the ninth inning with two outs. Kobe Vance getting things going with a single. And then Cameron Simmons with a heady play. Yes, it was a error out there in center field. But he did a nice job. Didn't just walk it out like he was already going to get caught. Saw the error get made. Was able to get all the way to third so he'd eventually become the tying run yeah those plays out on the field a few times happening of course losing them in the lights and what were the things that you know weren't quite as good that you like to take away from tonight's game you look forward to tomorrow maybe changing well, that win right to left took a lot of balls out into left field tonight, and there were a lot of deep shots. I mean, to not give up any home runs and then uh, through the first five games and then give up three tonight is not ideal, obviously, for the Mariners. So would like to see a little bit of stronger work by the pen uh, and by the starter. Cal Kruger, a little bit of a tough time after sending the first inning uh, innings batters down in order. So the pitching, uh, uh, the pitching has a little bit of room left to be desired. That's right. Again, the bullpen was overall was decent today until the ninth inning when, unfortunately, the three-run home run ended it. So that's going to do it here from Gulf Fuller Field, Austin Rooney and David Sugarman. We say so long until tomorrow night at 6.30 when the Harwich Mariners take on the Falmouth Commodores again at White House Field.